NASA is trying to respond to that by providing the safety standards and the performance metrics by which all these aircraft can be judged and qualified for flight so that it's safer for the public and gets better performance. The X-57 Maxwell is NASA's first manned X-plane in over 20 years. This version happens to be the first fully electric X-plane that we've ever done. So what makes the X-57 unique is that for a similarly sized aircraft, the wing is actually 58% smaller than the baseline. What that means is it's very efficient in cruise. That combined with the propulsion integration effects of the tip propellers and the fact that it's a fully electric system have a combined design goal of a 500% improvement in efficiency over the baseline aircraft. So there are a few different ways that we try and test out various models to get an estimate of the performance or the behavior of the aircraft. And one of my favorites is using 3D printers to make prototypes of individual components or assemblies so that we can learn things like how the assembly might go together or how the dynamics of the system might behave. Another thing that we've done is to build wind tunnel models of the nacelles, propellers, and even a full vehicle test. And what we learn from that is to get detailed aerodynamic data on real-world parts. We also run extensive computational fluid dynamic analysis. And what that does is help us reduce some of the uncertainty in the regions of flight where this aircraft may operate. So now that we have the Mod 2 aircraft at Armstrong, we're ready to actually start the operation side of things, where we're going to be integrating, we're going to be flying. And what that means is we've gained enough momentum now.